Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to the boat gang. All right, I'm out here in the freaking rain at the New River, okay? It's like, it was pouring, and then it slacked off. Of course, as soon as I get here, it starts pouring again. So uh, we're gonna run the 35 first, the Delta Force 35, and then the De De Velez, okay? I got the tug for a re rescue boat, the Horizon Harbor tug. Let's freaking get it. It ought to be interesting. Stick around, Big B, we're in Glad RC. So I gotta tape it up quick because it's raining. Um, had a, several batteries charged up for today and some thunderstorms rolled in. So uh, we're gonna deal with it. We're gonna run the boats in the rain. Zero this out. I was actually planning on doing some speed runs today and it started raining. And it's slick, it's no wind, so we're gonna we're gonna run it. I don't know how well the video quality is gonna come out. Got 8S on it. There's nobody out here. I got the whole river to myself. <laughs> Tad's going that way. got the GPS in it PB with this boat 73 I actually just sanded the, the keel and of course it starts raining harder once I get my boat out here yeah just sanded the keel on the boat flattened it out had some low spots Let's see what we can do here Pretty. It's nice. To all my viewers, what's your most favorite boat to run in tune? What's your favorite boat? Period. All right, leave it in the comments. What's your what is your absolute like go-to fun boat that just puts a smile on your face every freaking time you run it? All right, leave it in the comments. All right, you hear that thunder? Full trigger. Ooh, that's pretty. I don't feel like going to get my tugboat, so I'm not pushing it too hard, you know? Oh, it's coming down. It's coming down now, man. When I got here, it was just sprinkling. When I left the house, it was sprinkling. It's supposed to pass through, you know? And it's supposed to rain tomorrow. I just had some batteries to discharge. Oh, that's so nice, man. Seeing in that kill flat, seems like it actually helped. Had a little power cut. I got on it too hard. Yep, just got to discharge them to storage voltage. I would do it on my charger, but I had several packs charged up. Well, four packs. <laughs> All right, that should be good. Big B's a freaking moron. Camped out right up under a tree. <laughs> right under a gum tree at least there's another one a taller one right next to it oh i felt i felt like we got 60 over 65 my pb with this boat 73 uh it took me a while to get that pb with this boat too oh i put this low kv motor in here so i can turn big props i got a big prop on here oh 74 that's my pb come on Yes, sir, buddy. 73 is my PB. I just got my PB. So I just got my PB with these 7600, 150C, 4S twins, HCL, HP, SMC. Uh, I got the HCL, HP, 6500s. A little bit lighter battery, so I'm going to move them up. Got the GPS recording. Got the 6500s in. I got my phone to keep them kind of forward. I got them offset a little bit. Let's get it. This is the only thing you have to worry about when you're boating in the rain, your, your controller. So I just put a uh, rag over it. 
It's the 6500s. Get a quick pass in before the ripples get out there. Yeah, I've got auto timing on this ZTW with low vo voltage cutoff, cut off. It's the only way you can run this speed control, you guys. Cut the low voltage off and auto calculate. I've tried that timing on different different settings and it, all, it power cuts like that. It, any, any, any timing you put it on with these bigger motors, you know? Auto calculate seems to do the trick, and uh, that that I, you know had somebody ask me about a cat pack with this controller. I haven't tried it. I've read guys that have tried the cat pack with this controller without any success. You know what I mean? Um, I think it's just programmed into the speed control. To be honest with you, you know that it's a it's a safety feature. You know, hopefully no rains on the camera. Everything seems to be good. If I wreck, I'm going to have to run and get the tugboat. Full trigger. Got a big prop on here or else I would do ovals, you know. Got a little squirrely on top end there. I'm going to wait for the ripples to cool down a little bit. We'll get it again. 74 that's my pb man it i was out here on a four day binge with this boat i have a video about it uh trying to get 70 trying to beat my old pb of 63 a, a four day binge <laughs> with the rc boat bits 175 and i think i had the rocket 1900 kv 4082 in here binge straight up binge man all right let's try it oh some mullets jumping getting a little rocky there when she gets up to full speed she gets a little wonky there need to tune that out oh, that's pretty that's pretty I think I need to put my offset my, my battery just a little bit more you know full trigger yeah it's a big prop now this is the cut down this is my old 1916 the one I've reduced the blade area on I don't think this boat would take the new 1916 with the full blade area. Power cut right there. I got on too hard. If you have this ESC, you'll learn to love it. You know, you learn to drive it, I guess I should say. And uh, I actually centered this ESC. I was running this ESC offset, offset to the left. And every time I would hit a wave with the battery or the ESC offset to the left, it would uh, it would like it out the water. It would like tip to the side, the left side. I mounted my ESC back center, and uh, I've been doing real good with it when it's with it mounted center. You know what I mean? So uh, I'm gonna get this. We'll check the speed. I'm getting a little wonky because I didn't have my batteries offset like I did the other packs. I had a nice offset to the left and uh whenever she got up to full speed she was wanting to chine walk a little i guess uh yeah chine walk um yeah chine walk she'd start going crazy before i had my oh shit 77 oh nice yes sir buddy i smoked my pb Woo -hoo 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 that low kv motor man i was i've always run 19 2000 kv motors in this boat you know what i mean well my old pb my old pb of 73 was on 6s so uh the reason i put this big motor in the boat was to try to beat my old pb with a low kv motor big prop that was the whole reasoning behind putting this 4685 spectrum in here and uh 77 that's freaking boss yes yes so i've got the 6500 6s packs in here okay i'm gonna get it all taped up get the gps plugged in i'll show you before i let it loose all right got it recording 
Yeah, I'm not going to push it too hard, you guys. Hadn't run this prop in a long time. Well, hell, I hadn't run the boat in a while. I am going to get a nice run in, though. She might go flying, boys. I'm going to wait for these ripples to cool down. Oh, man. Yeah, man. This boat right here is fast as all get out, you guys. Upgraded. This, well, hell, this boat's fast stock. I'm not even kidding. I put a low CG battery tray in it. Okay. I've got a fly color 150 in here with a triple S 2000 KV, which, by the way, is actually a kind of a hard motor to find. That 2000 KV triple S. It's kind of a hard motor to get your hands on. Ooh. Yeah, I hadn't been in the mood to do any wrenching videos lately. I've been, I've just been running my boats, you know. I apologize. I know a lot of you guys watch for my wrenching videos, which I'm working on a um, oxy digger wrench video right now. Woo! She was zipping along, boy. lost it all right let's do one more pass what an adventure huh what a freaking adventure como <laughs> all right here we go here we go let's flip it let's try not to a little close Code. Let's come right back at us through the ripples. Ooh, that should be our battery. All right, so on this boat, I noticed the short rudder does the trick. All right, look at this. I have big finger. There's the water pickup, and that's where I cut it. All right, about about a about a half inch from the or quarter, well, a little a little more than half quarter inch from the water pickup. I don't think this GPS is going to stay on. It was it was kind of glitching out when I installed it. I'm not getting my hopes up here. Sixty-four, sixty-four mile an hour. All right, everything's nice and cool. All right, yep, sixty-four. Not bad, not bad. I, I'll take it. I'll take it. 77 come on come on it oh man i'm glad i come out in the rain <laughs> uh this one right here uh i didn't get a high speed i didn't really push it that hard and I, that prop i've got my strut adjusted for another prop for the 42 high rate oxtine and um yeah it just wasn't 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 hitting on nothing <laughs> we'll see you next time